Hey everybody, in this tutorial, I want to show you how to export your finished project. Now this is very specific to my students in video production class, so you might have your own settings, but these are the settings we're going with in my class. So one thing you want to do is make sure that you are clicked on your project file. That's a little clapstick file that represents your timeline. The reason for that is because if you were to be clicked on a clip down in your timeline and go through this export process, you'll actually just export that one tiny clip and that's not going to work. So again, click on your project file up here at the clapstick and then go up top to file. You want to go to share and Apple devices 4K. It's OK if you didn't shoot all your footage in 4K or any of it. Uh, Final Cut will take care of that. Go to settings. And make sure that instead of faster encode, it's better quality. We want better, not faster. Hit next. This is where you'll name your project. I'm going to call mine test project. And of course, this is where you'll save it. So you might be saving it in your documents. You might be saving it on the desktop. You need to know where you're saving your file so you can then retrieve it afterwards. So I'm going to save mine in my video tutorials bin here that I've been saving everything. I'm going to click save and it's going to do its thing. Now in the upper left you'll see this circle filling up and if I click on that it'll give me a progress bar. You really don't want to play your project or do any editing right now because if you do that'll pause this. So just let it do its thing and when it's finished, it'll put a self-contained QuickTime file on your desktop or on, in your documents folder or on your hard drive, wherever it is you saved it. And boom, it's complete. It'll give you a little bit of a message here that says share successful. And now I'm in good shape. I can go ahead and uh, turn it into Classroom if that's the case or upload it to YouTube. Whatever it is you want to do with it, now you have that file.